Hello everyone, my name is Kimberly Becker and this tutorial will show you two different tools for measuring the readability of texts you are considering using in your English language classroom. First I'll review how to use the WebFX readability test tool and then I'll move on to the readability analyzer. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that this tutorial is adapted from one created by my colleague Leah Johansson. We'll start by examining how to use the WebFX Readability Test Tool, which you see on the screen. This is a free tool for determining the difficulty level of a text. Before we start, however, we need to obtain a text to analyze. You can choose any kind of text that is relevant for your teaching, but if you don't know where to start, you can find a text from one of the free online resources introduced by Dr. Slater. Here, I'm going to choose a text from Project Gutenberg. Once you get to the Project Gutenberg website, you'll notice that there are a number of ways to search for texts. You can search directly for a book, browse book categories, or look through a catalog. Of course, you'll want to make your decision based on the student population in your course. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to begin by searching for a famous American book, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Remember though, you can select any book from this list or any other text that you have available. This is merely an example. So first we're going to choose chapter one, and there is our text. Now let's navigate to the WebFX Readability Test Tool and explore our options. First, you'll notice that we have several choices for how to put the text into the tool. We can enter a URL, which is this yellow button here, or we can test by direct input, which means copying and pasting a text into the tool. This other option, test by referrer, is for authors of websites and isn't relevant to our needs at this time, so we won't review that aspect of this tool. Before we start measuring the readability, you need to familiarize yourself with the types of measures. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a section that explains which tool is the best, who it's for, and what it does. Read through these explanations first before you input your text. That information can also be extremely useful to you as you go about determining how to interpret your results. This tutorial will show you how to use both of these first two options, the test by URL and the test by direct input. We're gonna start with the test by direct input. One of the things you should know is that these readability tools are only useful if the text you are planning to use is already in electronic form. Navigate back to Project Gutenberg and find the page with Chapter 1. Select as much of Chapter 1 as you want or more. Copy that and go back to the Readability te Test tool. Here we're going to enter or paste what we copied and click Calculate readability. 